March the 7th, 2019. As you're about to see a double solar eclipse. And uh, what you're seeing are images from the Solar Dynamics Observatory. That was the moon. And you saw as it went into the normal speed that we get these images, that took four hours for this, the moon to move up and then appear to move back down. But guys, the Solar Dynamics Observatory is a satellite. It gives us the Earth-facing images of the sun, but because of its figure eight orbit, as it travels around the sun with the, our planet, sometimes it's much higher. And so it has a different angle or perspective than if you were on the surface of our planet. In this case, it was much higher, again, four hours. It was about 82% because of the closeness of the sun excuse me the closeness of the moon to the solar dynamics observatory itself we also have two spot sunspots and we're starting to see some uh, filaments rise on the uh, surface now this is of a different filter same event and that is the timing that it came through on the sdo images but again this that was a four hour lapse and this double dip motion of the moon across the sun is a result of orbital mechanics. That's what they call it. Both the SDO and the moon are orbiting Earth, but at different speeds. The SDO velocity is, th is 3 kilometers per second faster than the moon's velocity of 1 kilometer per second. The SDO thus overtakes the moon first in one direction, think about it, then the other during the long eclipse. Now let's take a look at the uh, USGS earthquake map. I have this for the last seven days at the settings at 2.5 plus uh, in the U.S. Just kind of look around the ring of fire and there's you go to the point seven. I mean the 7.0 down in Peru. You go across the uh, Pacific Ocean and you start getting into the 6.4s down around the Chromatic Island region. Also, uh, you're getting uh, stronger quakes 6.0s up around Japan. You can see by the 6.0. Now, that was a shallow quake, 10 kilometers only. But again, this uh, is a 7-day 2.5 plus. So you're going to see smaller quakes, but sometimes these smaller swarms can indicate pressure. And uh, you can see across the U.S. Now, there's been two reports out that uh, both a, a Russian scientist and a geologist has issued earthquake warnings for the next couple of weeks, both... Uh, all, both are in the U.S. Now, one says it could be anywhere from the U.S. down through South America, and some and one, they included uh, watch the New Madrid fault zone. But you notice we still have these quakes that are kind of along the Madrid fault long, line and going up the Appalachians along that eastern edge of the North American craton. Explained some about that in the video yesterday, even all the way up to Canada. And this is all controlled by our solar winds during the, the solar minimum when our shields are weak. You can see the spike uh, going into March the 7th, and now we're seeing the same spike again, and putting us up around 1.2 to 1.3 million miles per hour as far as the speed of the solar wind as it strikes the Earth. Now, the, in the top two, um, graphs here you've got you're talking about magnetism and uh, they're saying some of the ground based magnetometers are not working but by the time it gets to the ground guys it's already passed this data this is from the discover satellite it's a million miles closer uh, to the Sun than the earth is the one uh, Lagrange point so you have got depending on the speed 45 minutes or an hour as it uh, heads up warning as it passes the satellite before it strikes the earth again the satellite is in the position to where it will get any incoming before the earth does because of the way the orbits have been planned so again i don't know about the two warnings that are out about one russian scientist and one fellow here in the u.s that does uh, some U some geology study and watches this of the two major quake warnings and I'm not sure all the data that they have access to. But I know what I watch, and I know that there could be a uh, chance of more quakes. They have extended the solar wind speed watch from, it was yesterday in the video, to the 8th, tomorrow, now, until the 9th. So just be aware of that. Keep your eyes open. Um, the We are seeing the sun more energized, and sometimes that can be due to the orbits of other planets. And, of course... 
we've known for a long time that uh, we have planetary alignments, both with the moon and the earth, that can cause pressure on our tectonic plates and cause quakes. Why the moon? Also because the moon affects the earth. You know that by the tides, and if so, that uh, the